What's going on, Jerome's? Your Minnesota Fine Vikings and the Buffalo Bills have released their first injury reports ahead of their Sunday showdown in Orchard Park, the pride of Western New York. Uh, now for the Vikings, uh, a couple of interesting ones. So Cameron Tiny Dancer, who dinged up his ankle early on in the game uh, against the Commies, is probably not going to play. Uh, Kevin O'Connell already laid the groundwork on that. Uh, called him a long shot earlier in the week. Uh, Caleb Evans looking to make his first career NFL start. Have a lot of pride in the uh, have a lot of faith in the pride of Mizzou. Garrett Bradbury also dinged up his ankle uh, in the Washington game. He missed some time. Schlutman came in as a backup center, but then Bradbury returned, finished the game out strong. So this could be a combination of you know, after the swelling goes down, seeing what's going on, uh, slash veteran day. So we'll see what happens with Bradbury on Thursday and Friday. I, I suspect that He'll be limited on Thursday and Friday, and then he'll be questionable going into the game, strap it up, and start uh, against the Buffalo Bills. Uh, then you got Diesel Dalvin Tomlinson, uh, who missed the Washington game with a calf injury. Now, this one's more touch and go. Uh, I think that Kevin O'Connell has already said that this one's more day to day. Uh, I would like to have Dalvin back on the field, uh, although uh, the combination of Ross Blacklock, Kyrus Tonga, and James Lynch really uh, did help up suture, uh, suture the running game. Uh, against Washington. And then Adam Thielen with that ankle limited. Um, this is more of a veteran day, but uh, he'll be fine uh, heading into the game on Sunday. The Bills. So the Bills got some interesting ones. The headliner is obviously Josh Allen uh, with that elbow injury, the UCL, uh, the one that requires Tommy John surgery in baseball. Now he's injured it before. He missed four games his rookie year 2018, and it looked like he definitely uh, torqued it quite a bit uh, against the Jets. Uh, but Josh Allen's a tough-ass dude. I would never rule it out. Uh, Sean McDermott. Uh, the Bills head coach, it, it didn't sound optimistic. It, it, it just really didn't. But Josh Allen wasn't even in the building today. Maybe he's out seeing a specialist or getting a second or third opinion. Uh, we shall see. But, I mean, Case Keenum, we know what Case Keenum can do, especially with Stephon Diggs. So uh, it would just you, you can't even write this script. I mean, what the hell, man? But uh, keep an eye on Josh Allen Thursday, Friday. If – he, if he's even limited on Friday, uh, maybe uh, he's going to try and give it a go. But bottom line, if he does play, he's not going to be 100%. So that's something to watch for. Tremaine Edmonds uh, listed with a groin and heel injury. Now, he did play uh, against the Jets, uh, but Edmonds is their heart and soul of that defense, man. He's right there. I love me some Tremaine Edmonds. I mean, this defense has some dudes, man. Uh, so it's notable he missed on Wednesday. Keep tracking that the rest of the week. Jordan Poyer uh, has that elbow injury. I uh, did miss uh, last week. Has, has missed a number of games this season. But Jordan Poyer is tough as nails. As tough as it come. Tough as a $2 stake. As one of the best uh, safeties in the National Football League. So, uh if he misses, that would be a big deal. Uh, Greg Rousseau, the pride of Miami. That's just the UB and the U. Uh, DNP with an ankle injury. And they had a handful of limited. Spencer Brown, Carol Lam, uh, Dane Jackson, two of their cornerbacks. Matt Milano. So Milano is interesting because he, he missed. And it, it's clear that... If Milano isn't out there, the defense completely changes, especially against the run game. And uh, the Bills' defense has been stingy against the run, uh, but the last couple games, they gave up 200-plus against the Bills. They gave up 175, 176 against the Jets, something like that. Uh, but Milano, uh, they're optimistic that he's going to be back for Sunday, so they're working him back in, coming back from an oblique uh, injury. Uh, Queensberry, uh, limited with a groin, as well as center Mitch Morse. Veteran rest elbow, and also some veteran days. Uh, Von Miller, Roger Saffold, they're going to be good to go. And then Cam Lewis uh, was a full participant with a forearm. So it's going to be interesting the rest of the week. If Josh Allen is able to get at least limited by Friday, I think there's a chance that he could play. Edmonds and Poyer are also ones to keep an eye on as well. Uh, for the Vikings, Bradbury, pretty optimistic about that one. Dancer is probably going to be out on Sunday, and hopefully Diesel Dalvin gets onto the field a Sunday in some capacity. But that's it. Let's take a look at the Vikings and Bills first injury report. Uh, let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Must support the work. Put a little something in the Venmo. But to next time, Skull Production Value.